Okay, welcome. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about the this idea within boarding school syndrome, this idea in psychology of the risk manager, the security officer, and just how that part of us that tries to keep us safe as a child also carries on into adulthood and can cause problems later on. So just would like to talk a little bit about that. Okay. Okay, so I've not really prepared much for today. Um, but I've just been you know working with clients this week and also reading Rod Boothroyd's book and it's a great book. Uh, it's about the archetypes, the mature masculine archetype. And this is an updated copy. So um it is, you know, so he's put in quite a, a, a few new bits of information. One of the things he talks about, which I feel really relinks into boarding school, is that we have this aspect of us that, um, or any form of trauma really, we have this aspect of us called the risk manager, the security officer. And this is the part of us that feels, I'm not safe, um, and in this moment, I'm going to create this defences. I've talked about this in another video about the rules that we we created these rules, and I feel this security manager, the security officer, risk manager, they are part of this same network of uh, within us. And just, I'd like to read some bits from Rod Boothroyd's book. This is page sixty-one. He's saying, basically, he's saying that your magician, so this is the magician archetype, so this is about the part of us which is about knowledge, wants to know, understand things, more of the mind, really. Um, the magician is especially likely to have produced such strategies to keep you safe if you faced physical, emotional or sexual, sexual abuse or a violent, unpredictable or unstable environment as a child. This part of the magician is known as the safety officer. However, the protective function of the safety officer is not limited to violent or abusive environments in childhood. A child safety officer will grow in any environment where a child is subject to some kind of assault on his sense of self. And for me, you know, my boarding school was definitely that. It wasn't a, um, you know, the sense of self was being attacked. So, um, Joy Chevron talks about that in her book the boarding school syndrome she's saying that at home there's a negotiation between the parents and the children working out well I want to do this I can't do that you know there's a, a give and take a dynamic you know can I go out tonight no you know I need to do use the car it's like this give and take is what she calls it but she says in boarding school you have to bow to the needs of the school you they can't bow to your needs and I saw that at my school that those boys who wanted you know they were used to being spoiled suddenly mummy and daddy weren't there and it was like they would scream and cry you know and you know they had to learn very quickly through bullying everyone laughing at them that they had to um, that security officer, that risk manager had to come in and go, no, that behavior is not okay. So, you know, really, I feel we were really subjected to some kind of assault on um, our sense of self. Um, so, so, yeah, I, I think for me, one of the things which is really important to just see with that is that that was useful when we were children. It kept us safe at school, it stopped the bullying. You know, but when we get into adulthood, you know, certainly in relationships, you know, being very controlling, you know, often the security officer's controlling, no, don't go there, don't do this, you can't say this. So it's like these rules. But in relationships, being controlling doesn't help us. You know, having childlike behaviours in relationship, an adult relationship, doesn't work, especially intimate relationships. 
uh, and I think Rod talks about that a little bit. Um, Yeah, unfortunately the boyhood safety officer will go on playing out the same defensive strategy for the rest of a man's life unless he seeks out someone who can help him with his emotional healing work. Since most boyhood strategies don't work too well in an adult relationship, achieving maturity as a man is important. So it's like, yeah, we have to do that. And so how do we deal with this risk manager? You know, I've noticed in the work I do with my clients is one, we can't just push them away. You know, uh, we have to make peace with them. So it's, you know, in the monastery, the abbot used to say to me, make peace. You know, receive yourself as you are. So the angry part, oh, welcome. You know, having the boundary. No, I'm not going to hit anyone. I'm not going to do anything stupid, but, you know, welcome. So meeting them. And it's the same, it's like bringing that mindfulness that, oh, okay, I'm wanting to be, you know, put these rules in to this relationship. It's like, okay, noticing that, where do I feel it in my body? Tension here, but we don't follow through. And then the second level for me is the opposite side of the risk manager or the safety officer is giving him a new role. So giving him or her a new role, so it might be to, you know, some of my clients talk about the happiness manager. So it's like, right, you know, can I have that part of me that searches out goodness rather than being a fault finder, which is what the security officer is really good at. Actually, can he be a, a good finder? Find the good, those things to be grateful for, those things which are good in my life, to find those. You know, um, so yeah, just just some reflection really about um, about the safety officer, and I see that you know it, it's very strong in us as ex boarders, or basically anybody who's been through a lot of trauma. Then you will find that you have this safety officer, this risk manager that's you know quite full on, um, and first step is yeah, make peace with him or her. Welcome, thank you for keeping me safe, I love you. Second stage is then, you know, bringing that mindfulness when he, he or she comes up. And third stage is, yeah, giving it that part of you a new role, a happiness manager, searching out, you know, for the good in the world. And, you know, it takes training and practice, but it, it can be done. So just some reflections. Um, so I hope you found this useful. Um, any questions, please let me know. Or, yeah, if this worked for you, you think, yeah, this worked, please do put a, a thumbs up. It uh, helps me to see. Uh, great. Well, have an amazing uh, week, and I'll speak to you next week.